Morning friends, it's Miss Paula and today is Thursday, September 3rd, 2020. I just want to go over our, our feelings and emotions again very quickly because we've been talking about that last week and this week about how we feel and what do you think this face is? Yeah, he's sad. I hope my friends don't get sad too often. But everybody gets sad sometimes, huh? What's this face? Yes, this is the scared face. I said I get scared from snakes and roller coasters. Remember we did Little Miss Muffet the other day and she got scared of a big giant spider. Miss Chi gets scared in the dark. This guy is silly. I love silly. That makes me laugh, right? How about him? This this face is worried. And we read Wimberly worried yesterday. Wimberly worried about a lot of stuff. But everything was okay, huh? Oh, this is our mad face. I hope our friends don't get mad too much, but it's it's okay for everybody to get mad sometimes. And this is how I hope my friends feel today. This is our happy face. All right. So this week, if you are at home learning, you have a packet and it tells you our shapes and um, colors and Sight words and numbers, and our our number this week is zero. Zero. What's another word for zero? It means none of something, right? So if I say hold up, zero fingers, you're gonna do this because zero means none. This is our sight word. Go. G O. See if you can find that different places. See if you can find Go written anywhere in your house, on any games. G-O, Go. And our shape this week is a square. A square has how many sides? One, two, three, four sides, and one, two, three, four corners. A square. You see squares around your house on different items. Squares when you go out. Okay. And our color right now is yellow. And we have color books for the kids that were in my room before. No, we, are, we like our color books. We read them all the time. They help us to recognize things that, that are that color and they help us learn how to spell that color. This is yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W. Feel the rain pour down on you. Yellow raincoats in the street. Stomping, splashing with your feet. Y-E-L-L-O-W. The sun comes out and shines on you. Nice sun. And what face is the sun making? Yeah, he's making a happy face. So today, we're going to do a little nursery rhyme that I think a lot of you probably know already. If I show you this picture, what do you see in this picture? Yeah, we see a little girl. We see a lamb. And we see this is a schoolhouse. Do you see the desks in there? Okay, our poem says, Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. 
And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. He followed her to school one day, which was against the rules. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. So friends, when it talks about the lamb's fleece, do you know what that means? You see how he's white? That's his, like his fur or his coat. Um, that is his fleece. And this is Mary. So it says that she, the lamb cannot go to school because it's against the rules, right? Do you know what rules are? Do you have rules at your house? That's a list of the things that you should or should not be doing. Do you know why we have rules? We have rules to help keep you safe, to help keep you from um, getting boo-boos and from your friends getting boo-boos. And also, if we follow the rules, more, we're going to be more likely to enjoy the things that we have and um, that are, will make our day go so much better. So what kind of rules do you have at home? Do you have rules that you have to be, that you should be nice to your brothers, sisters, moms, dads, anybody at your house? You have to use nice words. Let's take a look at our class rules. I did not take them down, so we'll go over here and look at them. All right. I'm going to switch the camera around. Okay. So, there we go. So, the same rules that we've had, but I just made them in a different, um, different poster. Can you see number one? Our class rules are we keep our hands and our feet and our bodies to ourselves. That's so we don't hurt anybody else or we don't bother them because sometimes if we are touching other people we might not mean to be bothering them but they might not like it and right now we're not supposed to be sharing germs so i put a picture of hands and feet so that I would remind you our number two rule is we use nice words because we wouldn't want to make anybody feel sad or hurt their feelings, right? So we say things to them like, good job, or I like your shirt, or you did a really nice picture. You made a beautiful picture. Um, our number three rule is we use listening ears because if we want to be safe and we want to do the things we're supposed to do, we have to pay attention and listen. We use walking feet at school. That's number four rule. Do you see the footprints? That's our number four rule. Um, we can run if we are in the, the gross motor room where we have um, padding and where it's nothing to fall onto. We can run outside in the grassy area, but it's not safe to run in the classroom or in the hallways. Number five rule is we clean up what we mess up. So if we're playing with a basket of toys or we're playing with our box of art supplies or a box of um, Play-Doh, we clean up all of the stuff that we made a mess in. Is that one of your rules at home? All right, friends. Well, it was nice talking to you this morning and I will talk to you again later. Miss Chi is now going to post a video.